For the Aztec people of Mexico, religion was the center of society and the driving force behind daily Aztec life. It was present in nearly every aspect of their lives from the day of their birth until the circumstances of their death. A painstaking amount of effort was dedicated to ensuring the gods were satisfied. One of the most significant efforts towards daedal satisfaction was through the creation and worship of religious arts and sculptures, which served not only the gods, but the society's oral traditions as well. One of the most important gods immortalized in art is the goddess Coatlicue. Coatlicue, literally, she of the serpent skirt, was considered to be the mother of the gods, the goddess of fertility. The statue of this goddess is 2.7 meters tall and carved of stone. She was found close to the sunstone on August 30th, 1790, in what is present-day Mexico City. The most notorious and important themes of Aztec religion centered around the idea that the spilling of human blood in a religious manner was the highest form of reverence to the gods and kept peace and harmony in the world around them. The practice of bloodletting included human sacrifice among other rituals of non-fatal cuttings. This can also be seen in a great number of works of Aztec religious art, such as the statue of Coatlicue, which is adorned with numerous depictions of severed human extremities. In addition to art, religious architecture, namely the construction of temples and cities, was hence fashioned in a way as to place the gods quite literally at the focal point of daily life and to continually live in their service. The Aztecs, among other indigenous peoples, were known for their incredible abilities to create structurally sound buildings, many of which have endured numerous natural disasters and can still be seen today in parts of Mexico and Peru. The arrival of Spanish conquistadors brought many changes to Aztec religious practices and daily life. The Spanish attempted to wipe out the Aztec religion by imposing a reign of Christianity. This was not limited to the Aztecs, but rather all conquered peoples in the New World. A common practice of the Spanish was to turn old places of heathen worship into cathedrals by building on top of the ancient stone towers or merely destroying them and reconstructing a cathedral in their place. Initially, all voyages to the New World were sponsored by Iberian royalty. Oftentimes, the conquistadors, in order to gain the continued support of the crown, worked under a guise of conversion, sending letters and reports back to European officials detailing the religious efforts being performed in the New World to convert and save the native peoples. More often than not, the goal of conversion took a backseat to the Spanish desire to take full advantage of the abundant resources and native peoples they found in the New World. There are many examples of letters describing the spiritual susceptibility of the natives which consequently gained the support of the church and secured funding for future voyages due to the fact that not even the royalty of Iberia dared go against the will and blessing of the Pope. Additionally, the Spanish created their own works of art depicting the religious practices of the Aztecs, which were then sent back to Iberia. These works of art were not directly concerned with an accurate factual depiction of the Aztec religion, so much as being a means towards the ends which the Spanish were trying to achieve. Namely, for their privileges and rights in the New World involving the submission and enslavement of natives. Aside from depictions of Aztec religious practices, Spanish artwork depicted daily Aztec life in a way which made the natives seem overly primitive and as if they demonstrated no respect for human life. Particularly popular were the depictions of the Aztec ritual of human sacrifice to the gods, which oftentimes ended in the consumption of the sacrifice. Despite the Iberian mindset and prejudice that exemplified the conquest, the Aztec religion exhibited a sophistication beyond that which many Europeans had achieved. For example, they had developed an accurate astrologically based calendar system, which is still accurate to this day, and many believe to predict the future. The Aztec calendar system was heavily religious and predicted the arrival of a god on the exact day which Cortes landed in New Spain. 
Upon the arrival of Cortez, he was presented with many gifts by Emperor Montezuma under the assumption that he was the long-awaited and prophesied god. Even during the first interactions between the Europeans and Aztecs, religious art remained a valuable aspect of the society and a key part in relations among the two groups. Despite the high value the Aztecs placed on their religious art, the Spanish did not hesitate to view the religion as barbaric and used it as an excuse to take full advantage of their conquest ideals of pillage and personal gain.